Good evening, everybody. My name is Joe Thomas. I'm a social studies teacher from Mesa, and I currently serve as president of the Arizona Education Association. And I wanted to take a moment tonight to say thank you to the Arizona teachers and staff for your commitment to our students in a school year that is arguably more difficult than the last school year was. I want you to know that I see you. More importantly, your students see you. They see you overcoming staff shortages such as classroom teachers, substitutes, aides, bus drivers, counselors, nurses. The students may not understand the frustration you experience in overcoming those challenges, but they see you showing up every single day for them. And all you need is to be supported. That's not too much to ask. It certainly shouldn't be too much to ask. But that's why it's even more difficult to understand why Governor Ducey is trying to pass tax cuts for millionaires in the middle of a pandemic, choosing millionaire tax cuts over our students. He's trying to implement those permanently, but there is a solution. I need you to go to investinaznow.com. Made a little sign for you. And there's two sections if you don't know about this yet. One is the about section, which tells you what the investinaz.now uh, effort is all about. Uh, it's really about tax cuts. That's the, that's really the crux of it all. And here's the good news. Arizona teachers, you're earning between about forty and $50,000. These tax cuts might net you $39 a year. The millionaires, well, they'll get $15,000. 45,000, even $350,000 in tax cuts. And those are cuts our schools and students can't afford. So the other place on the website that we need you to go is where you can sign and where you can turn in your petitions. Thousands of you have been collecting petitions uh, for just about two months now. We have two weeks left in this effort to get all of those signatures in so we can send these questions to the voters and let the voters decide. Are we going to have tax cuts for millionaires, the people that can most afford to give a little bit to create stability in our communities? Or are we going to invest in our schools and give the students the opportunities that they deserve? Governor Ducey clearly just wants you to give up. But what he'll never understand about educators is giving up means giving up on our students. And that's just not in our DNA. That's why we fight. That's why we advocate for the schools that we know that they deserve. So just like in 2018 with Red for Ed, and just like in 2020 with Invest in Ed, it's up to us to lead on this. We know our schools can't take more funding cuts right now. So let's get those signatures in. Sign the petitions if you haven't. Talk to your colleagues about it before or after school. Talk to your neighbors and your friends. Let's sign the petitions and let's keep a billion dollars in our schools. Let's not enact these future cuts. Remember, the website, is investinaznow.com. Share it with your colleagues, your friends, your neighbors. Tell them there's still two weeks left. We can make a difference and we can support our students in schools. And once again, thank you for your commitment to our students, both in the work you're doing every single day and in finding the five minutes it'll take you to sign these petitions. It's time to invest in Arizona now. Good night, everybody.